Everyone and welcome to the week's nest if you're new here my name is Nicole and I do videos on home decor DIYs and lifestyle all on a budget so if that sort of thing interests you and you're not already subscribed be sure to hit that subscribe button below as well as the notification bell so you know every time I upload a new video and if you are a returning subscriber hello again and thank you so much for stopping by today and hanging out with me so for today's video, I am super excited about this. I probably say that about like all of my videos, but I love tiered trays and I know they are super popular, especially with people that do and watch Dollar Tree DIYs. There are just endless um, options and different combinations you could do to make these tiered trays using Dollar Tree items. I will link down below. I have made a few tiered trays um, actually, that was like the first DIY video that I ever did was a tiered tray. I love them. I just love that you can really switch up the different types of like bases that you use and the height. And I love that you can change them out pretty much month to month, season to season, whatever you're feeling. But recently I had watched her from a little bit of Common Crazies video and she did this beautiful tiered tray using the Dollar Tree um, like faux wood chargers and I was like I have been looking for those and I can never find them but today I found one <laughs> so really dramatic but I found one I was like on my hands and knees ridiculous um, looking to see if they had another one they didn't but I found a smaller plate that I thought complemented this really well and this would like faux wood look. I mean, it's good with any decor, any time of year, but especially with fall being right around the corner, although it's not a full, it depends when I put this up. It's either the end of July or the very beginning of August when you will see this. Um, but with either way, I'm thinking of fall. Okay, either way, I lost my train of thought. But with fall being around, right around the corner, I just thought I would be able to do a nice tier tray of my own using this, but I wanted to do it a little bit different than the tier trays I've done in the past. And you will see, I use three Dollar Tree items, this charger, I have them here, this smaller plate, and I'll be using, I painted it already, you'll see in the video, one of these tiered snack containers from Dollar Tree, and I'll show you why I use it in the video. So with for basically $3 of base Dollar Tree items, you can have a tiered tray or footed tier stand, whatever you wanna call it, $3 four different ways. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it gives you some inspiration for your home on a budget. Go down in the comments um, if you like this project, if you like the idea of being able to kind of like customize and switch out your decor. I like doing that because I am always changing my mind and wanting to switch things up. So this option with the no glue definitely helps me with that. So let's get into today's video. So like I said, this faux wood charger from Dollar Tree was the inspiration for this tiered tray. And I wanted to use this tiered snack tower that you can get in like the kitchen plastic like food container aisle of the Dollar Tree. And the reason I picked this is because you can unscrew it and you'll be able to adjust the heights on this tray. So I'm gonna go in with a combination of Waverly chalk paint in white and in moss. And I kinda wanted like a light, muddyish version of moss, if that makes sense. I don't know, if you've been seeing any of my DIYs lately, I apologize. I am just so obsessed with this paint color. Um, but I decided to add a little bit of white to it just to lighten it a bit, but that's totally personal preference. And even if you don't like this color, you can use whatever color you want. I just thought it went nice, so I went ahead and gave everything one coat. 
then once the paint was dry, I'm just going to do some kind of thick, heavy-handed dry brushing with Waverly's Chalk Paint and Truffle. And I will list everything, as always, down in the description box below um, of what I'm using. But I'm just going to go ahead and give both containers and that middle part a just kind of heavy-handed, like I said, um, dry brushing. So pretty simple. And this is what it should look like once everything is dry. So real quick, adding a bonus DIY to this video, I am taking this sign that originally had an apple on it from Dollar Tree and I am taking some Buffalo Check scrapbook paper from Hobby Lobby. I am just tracing around the base of this sign and cutting it out and I'm just going to apply this with some Mod Podge. I love Buffalo Check, especially with fall. It's a pretty popular pattern. Just feel like it is like a neutral pattern, if that makes sense, and it just goes really nice. And yes, once again, I realized I used way too much Mod Podge. I don't know what me and Mod Podge's issue is lately, but I'm using too much of it. So anyway, I'm gonna take these awesome wood DIY, it said on there, stickers. I'm gonna take the pumpkin. I'm not gonna paint it. I'm just gonna leave it as is. And then on top to cover that kind of nub that the apple was on, I'm just going to take a piece of scrap fabric that is actually a Dollar Tree dish towel. I'm just going to hot glue it when I fold it, wrap some twine around, and make a quick bow. You will be seeing this dish towel in another DIY of mine if I have not posted it already that is fall related. But this is how that turned out, super quick and easy, and I feel like it's going to complement the trays we're going to make really nice. So now I'm going to show you the four options to making this tray. The first option is the tallest option. It is having that stacked snack tower at the height that it comes with. And since I didn't use glue, you can just place the charger plate on bottom, place it on top, and add whatever decor you want to to give it that height. And I figure with the height you can add larger pieces, so that is the first option. Moving on to option number two. This is my favorite option, and let me know in the comments what your favorite of the four options are. But you're just gonna unscrew the top layer of the tumbling tower, or not tumbling tower, oh my goodness, to the snack tower container. So many towers sold at the Dollar Tree apparently. You're just gonna unscrew the top and it just takes it down a level and I personally like this better and that's why I chose this piece. You can just kind of alternate it the way you want. Moving on to option number three, you're just gonna leave the stacked tower again to that lower height so it's just the one container with the, like the screw lid on top. And then you're gonna take the larger charger, larger charger, it sounds ridiculous, but the wood charger and just make it like a tiered tray and you can add whatever you want to it. And then option four is doing the same thing, just having the smaller charger on top. So I hope you enjoyed these DIYs. I hope you liked the different variation that I gave for the tiered trays. And definitely let me know down in the comments if you liked this project and if so what your favorite option of the four was so I hope you enjoyed this project I hope it gave you some inspiration for your home on a budget and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one bye